Are you ready to be spellbound by a brilliant, relaxing and sleepy adventure? Because that's exactly what's in store for you tonight. As you keep listening along, relaxing more and more. As you settle into this dragon's tale of dreamy and happy enchantment. Because with your eyes tightly shut, or even just gently closed if you prefer, your imagination will very soon begin to go in the most glorious directions, bringing you all sorts of magical, joyful, dreamtime fun. Because the secret to this tale is that there is already one very curious creature, a most magnificent dragon friend, who is wishing to lead you on a marvellous journey of the most wonderful story magic and the most mysterious, fantastic of all sleep time adventures. So now, as you make yourself very cosy and start to breathe a little deeper, make sure you're taking in deeper and slower breaths, just like a dragon. Because the more you relax and continue to breathe so deeply, in this dragon's way. There might be a brilliant picture just starting to form in your mind and imagination. A picture there of an abandoned castle, perhaps, and one made entirely of stone, with pointy towers and turrets reaching up into the misty clouds above. And with your mind's eye and brilliant imagination, you may start to see so clearly this amazing castle, which sits atop a rocky mountain, dusted with white snow, somewhere in the wilderness of fantasy lands. And you might even notice some fresh mountain flowers sprouting through the snow, signalling that long, dreary winter is ending, and the first bursts of vibrant, happy, fragrant springtime have already begun. And you may imagine floating all the way now, right into this scene with lightly sparkling snowflakes still gently falling all around you. And this freshest of mountain air is so revitalizing to you as you breathe in deeply and just float along feeling so happy and so quietly excited as to what you will soon discover in this enchanting old castle. And as you float down and down now, down along with the soft breeze, every part of you feels so much more relaxed so safe and so completely loved here in this magical world. Until very soon, while you're still floating your way down through the lovely sky, you float suddenly to land on a surface of scales which might just be some sort of big, scaly, flying carpet. And as you look around and down to your feet, you realise quickly you are actually sitting right now 
on the back of a tremendous creature. And you rub your eyes now, thinking you must definitely be dreaming. Because you know this incredible animal before your eyes is meant to be mythical, or at least surely extinct so many moons ago. But amazingly, you can't help but admire these very real flying wings you can see. These incredibly colourful shiny scales. These super strong looking claw clutches. And this extremely proud and snouty face of a mighty dragon. Because now you're swooping through the breeze so safely on the sturdy back of your most surprising new friend. And you feel this huge dragon's body rumbling as he soon starts to speak with a deep and booming voice one would expect from such a massive, mighty creature. And surprisingly, with such impeccable manners, in a most polite fashion, this dragon introduces himself as Danilo Dracono Dipsilius III, last of the mountain dragons. But he really likes to be known as Dan, Dan the Dragon. And you feel there really must be a tingle of dragon magic at play here, in this freshest air. Because now you see a girl, drifting through the air too. And she looks to be also on a happy dream adventure, just like you. And suddenly, Dan the Mountain Dragon now swoops to one side and he quickly flies all the way underneath the girl, deftly supporting her too on his strong and scaly dragon back. And you see this new girl beside you has glowing brown skin, dark curly hair and lovely eyes with such long lashes. You smile to each other and laugh with shared astonishment at how amazing this magical journey is right now to be flying on a dragon. You both can barely believe it. Now this friendly girl tells you her name is Daisy. And you introduce yourself also. As you both hold on very tight to the surprisingly luscious locks of Dan the Dragon's long hair like a horse's mane. Which flows across the colourful shiny scales of his back. And this sensation of flying is truly spectacular. It feels so light to be soaring through the air, with the wind rushing through your hair, making you feel so weightless and free. This is every bit as brilliant as you'd always imagined it to be. And you can see that Daisy thinks the same as you, when together you both laugh and smile with pure joy. Because flying on a dragon's back is so incredibly fun, you think this might even be one of your most favourite things ever to do. And because Dan the Dragon really does know how to show you this wonderful, astonishing world, 
He circles you about through the skies, giving you a breathtaking view of the misty mountains below. And now Dan glides down towards that very same abandoned castle, swooping downwards and down into the castle grounds, flying over the winding moat, over the drawbridge, and now all the way inside the stony courtyard. And to your surprise, Dan doesn't take you exploring upwards to see the turrets and towers. Instead, he takes you and Daisy both through a hidden, rocky cave entrance in the secret side of the castle's hill. And you see this secret cave entrance has a wooden sign hammered into the rock with a picture of a dragon. A dragon with beautiful long hair who does look very familiar. Now this secret cave is very mysterious, being lit with golden lanterns and flaming torchlight making you and Daisy feel very curious as you explore. Yet you do feel so safe with your huge dragon friend Dan carrying you on his scaly back as he glides and then walks through this winding cave with ease. He definitely knows his way around. Soon you ask Dan if he is very fierce and if he really can breathe fire. And Dan tells you in his polite dragon's voice, he used to breathe fire all day long. Though these days he has mellowed out with his age and experience. True strength, Dan tells you, lies in being much calmer. And there is good, amazing power to be had in being positive and looking for what is good. And you feel very happy to hear Dan speak as he shares his ancient dragon wisdom, giving you some very good advice which resonates in your soul. Now Dan begins to lead you further and further into this magnificent cave, carved into the mountain rock, so deep into the earth. And you hear beside you, Daisy asks Dan if he really is the last of the mountain dragons. And he says in his deep and booming voice that yes, he is. Aside from the moon dragons and the ice dragons and the water dragons, he is the last of his kind. But being the last isn't so bad, since this has taught him to be quite an individual, to realise that it's so important to be yourself, accepting yourself as you are, no matter what comes. And Dan tells you and Daisy both that you are also more than enough exactly as you are. Since comparing yourself to others is really just a waste of time and precious energy. All creatures, you probably already know, are quite different. 
and all people you've probably already seen can also be quite different. And this is exactly what makes our world a fantastic, interesting and exciting place. And now even as you think a little about that, you see a gorgeous dragonfly beaming out with an electric radiant blue colour and it buzzes over to you. Dan laughs out loud as he tells you this is his pet dragonfly, Flick. And you see Flick flies and buzzes around Dan's head so happily until Flick suddenly lands on his dragon nose. And with huge crossed eyes, you see Dan points out how very different he is to Flick. Even though they're actually both a type of flying dragon creature. You and Daisy look to each other as you laugh and understand, and you smile and nod to each other. You really hadn't expected such wise words from your new dragon friend. Even as you see, Flick does a happy little hop up and down on Dan's enormous nose as Dan looks on with crossed, funny eyes. And as you all walk on through this great and stony chasm, you see the secret dragon's cave opens out and into a huge and high space. Big enough now for a great dragon to just curl up into a huge ball and to hibernate whenever he'd choose, with plenty of room and space to display all of his beautiful treasures from all over the earth. Now you might remember, dragons are known for their vanity, for their love of beautiful things including themselves and how they look. And you see that Dragon Dan has such luscious long locks, beautiful curls of lovely hair, which feel so soft to touch in your hands, as you hold onto his back, just riding along. And suddenly Daisy whispers to you as she gives you a little giggle. She tells you she loves to be creative. And she thinks it would be super fun to put Dan's dragon hair into a giant braid. Although it's pretty obvious this is definitely not a dragon's usual style. So you both jump down to the ground as you feel the warm stony floor underneath your feet. And you see Dan's huge dragon face grows very grumpy. But it's funny to see him look a little gloomy and impatient as Daisy begins to show you how to braid his long dragon hair. And even with his big nostrils, his scary teeth, his scaly skin and his boyish, beastly features, you and Daisy laugh out loud together as your grumpy, gloomy dragon friend becomes very pretty. Even Flick the dragonfly buzzes about appearing to have a very good giggle too. But underneath his scowling demeanour, 
Dan quickly shows you he really is a good sport and soon his face changes again. He's even happier to hear the laughter around him and he beams a huge and genuine dragon smile. Because Dan likes people to feel good in his company and to just be so happy more than anything else. And now the fun really begins because Dan gives you full permission to go exploring through the winding cave. And you can even go through his impressive piles of dragon treasure. And to keep you always feeling so safe, Dan gives you both a magical huff and an enchanted puff as he casts a mystical fog of dragon's protection all around you, just like a shield. And now as you look out and see through this misty, foggy cloud, you see a beautiful, sparkling light shining all around you and Daisy. Because Dan is using his dragon magic for your perfect wellness with his goodness and kindness. So as you begin to explore and walk around, even apart from the glorious, shining gold piles and the colourful, glistening gemstones, you discover some even more interesting treasures to play with. You find an old-fashioned kaleidoscope, a rare bronze compass, and a pirate's spyglass to pick up and use around the cave as you leap about having so much fun. And Daisy also finds a yellowed ancient treasure map of some tropical islands on the other side of the earth. Where Dan flew once upon a time and he found some buried treasure there, most of which now sits before you in a big, bountiful pile of silver right before your eyes. And there are fun board games such as chess and checkers, all of them carved beautifully from wood, maybe even once owned by ancient kings and powerful queens and you admire the biggest crystals you have ever seen, which shine and sparkle with the most delightful energy. And Flick the Dragonfly leads you and Daisy on to soon find a gorgeous little cave with a blue pool of pure water a pool made from fresh snow that melts down and drips into this high vibrational, crystal charged water. So you enjoy dipping your hands in to take a sip. And the icy freshness makes you feel very happy and healthy like you are glowing with pure health inside. And now you have total freedom to relax as you explore even the castle towers up above, where you see the lovely rocky mountains beyond. Or you can even go flying with Dan once again, 
flying all the way out over the wilderness of these gorgeous, faraway lands. Because as you relax and begin to dream, feeling sleepier and sleepier, you know that you really can discover whatever your heart desires right here in your wonderful, happy dreams. For Danilo Dracono Dipsilius III and Flick, his trusty pet dragonfly, are always wishing and wanting to help you have the most marvellous time as you sleep just exploring and having such fun. Feeling so safe and loved. Because kind-hearted Dan, last of the mountain dragons, reminds you and Daisy, even as you sleep and dream, that your unique talents and your great abilities, your interests and your hobbies, really are important. And the things you enjoy are wonderful. And your potential is limitless, because you really can do anything and be anything that you choose. And so, right now, you have some amazing time to just continue to explore this happy, beautiful world to your heart's content. And when my voice soon returns to you, it will only relax you more and more. And it will be time for your coziest night's rest and your perfect, happiest sleep. So now, after an incredible journey of exploring with fun, you are now feeling so very tired and sleepy. So very soon, you and Daisy find your comfy places to curl up on some soft and warm woolen blankets becoming just like little hibernating dragons yourselves. As you settle in now for your wonderful, happy night's rest. And you see Dan the dragon is resting now too. Settled down and lying on his big belly resting his giant head on his claws as he lets out a whiff of steamy snoring. With his little pet dragonfly, Flick, sleeping cosily on his warm and soft nose. And all about you now, you hear this castle cave is so calm and so quiet. 
tucked far, far away from the outside world. And the only thing you can hear as you continue on your way into deep, deep sleep amidst the calm and quiet harmony is the soft sound of Dan's constant snouty dragon snoozing and his gentle rumbling that echoes softly all throughout this long dragon cave. And this is so comforting to you to have this huge and brilliant beast, last of the mountain dragons, as your mighty protective friend here. And you and Daisy both feel so loved, so protected, and so special to sleep so well in this wonderful dreamtime adventure with peaceful and calm dreams of dragon magic and fun. So as you sleep so deeply now, feeling completely comfortable and so deeply relaxed. You can begin to dream more and more as you enjoy your soothing, deep and happy sleep with only the peace of your sweetest, coziest, Dragon Dreams. <laughs> 